Welcome to this short Container as a Service Management demonstration with VMware Telco Cloud Automation. The COS Automation provides Tanzu Kubernetes cluster day zero to day two operations. It includes cluster template creation, deployment, and customization, plus the lifecycle management operations. We will focus on designing a cluster template and the deployment of a cluster instance for this demo. The use of a template allows for better consistency and repeatability. Before getting into the details, let's define what a cluster in Kubernetes is. At a very high level, a cluster refers to a group of nodes that pool their resources together. So if you instantiate a network function on a cluster, the cluster will take care of distributing the work across the nodes. A cluster is used to host management plane or workloads on master and worker nodes. In Telco Cloud Automation, you manage all clusters from a central location. That's very convenient when you have with 5G and edges, hundreds of sites hosting potentially thousands of clusters. Users have a rapid access to all cluster instances and their current state. The dashboard also provides visibility on available resources, performance, and alarms across the Telco Cloud registered infrastructure. Telco Cloud Automation uses the notion of templates to ensure consistency across the clusters and ultimately favor repeatability. The templates give a canvas from which you can configure the cluster during the deployment phase. In Telco Cloud Automation, we propose a two-phased approach to cluster creation. First, we bootstrap a base cluster that contains a set of extensions and nodes configurations over the infrastructure, and that's what we will demo here. Then, in the second phase, we instantiate a CNF on the cluster. Telco Cloud Automation will configure all the cluster extensions to support the CNF-specific requirements. As an example, the OS can be modified at runtime to reflect the particular performance needs of a VRAN CNF. This late binding process ensures better alignment between the CNF and the cluster while optimizing the resource utilization. Look at our demo on CNF instantiation for more details. Let's deep dive into the Kubernetes cluster template creation first. The template creation is divided into four steps. Template properties or details, configurations of the master and worker nodes, and finally, a review of the overall cluster template configurations. Before moving on, what's the difference between a master and a worker node? Gotcha. The master controls the worker. But what is the difference? Without going into details, the master node hosts the Kubernetes control plane to manage and orchestrate the cluster, while the worker node runs the network function. Back to our demo, we will create a simple template called demo template to run workloads. The next step of the process is to define the cluster configuration and extensions. Telco Cloud Automation supports upstream Kubernetes and cluster API. For this one, we will use the VMware Tanzu Kubernetes version 1.18.2. Multiple container networking plugins are also supported depending on the use cases. For this cluster, we will use Calico and Multis for container network and vSphere for storage. Note that the list of plugins is evolving fast, and we add new ones continuously. We will deploy most of the pause tools like Grafana or Prometheus during the CNF instantiation, but we need Helm at minimum to map with the Helm chart of the CNF package. The CPU manager policy can be set to default, which allows the scheduler to balance CPUs across the cluster pods or static to enable specific CPU allocations for a pod on the node. This is mainly used when the workload performance might be affected by CPU throttling or scheduling latency. Examples are data plane functions, DU or UPF, etc. In our cluster, we will use the default Kubernetes policy. Now let's move to the node's configurations. In both master and worker node configurations, you must define the node's profiles based on the specific resources and networks. You can also set a node taint to allow only particular pods to run on a node. Once a profile is configured, you then define the specific nodes of that profile. You can set as many nodes as required and set replica to ensure the required availability level. We go through the same process to create the worker node configurations. Finally, we can review the cluster template 
and add it to the template catalog for future deployment. We can return to the template configuration at any point in time. Now that we have our template, let's bootstrap our new cluster over the infrastructure. To do so, go back to the Cluster Instances inventory and select the option to deploy a Kubernetes cluster. Somewhat similar to the template creation, you have five steps to go through to configure your cluster. The first one is to select where to deploy the cluster. In our demo, we will use the template we have just created. Telco Cloud Automation correlates the template requirements and the available resources based on the selected cloud or infrastructure. This cloud-first auto-discovery dramatically simplifies the configuration process. We can now pick the correct values for all the cluster resources. We have mostly defined the nodes once we configured the template, so the only mandatory elements are the network assignments to both the master and worker nodes. If required, it is also possible to assign specific resources to a node as well. Same as for the template creation, you can review your configuration before deploying the cluster. All good, let's deploy. You can follow the instantiation process from the Cloud Instances inventory and validate the cluster deployment's success. Once instantiated, you can drill down to the cluster and see all its configuration and the related nodes. To conclude this demonstration, we will access the management node based on the assigned IP. Here we go. We have a new cluster deployed on the infrastructure in less than 10 minutes. Thank you for attending this demonstration. Don't forget to look at the CNF instantiation demo to better understand how that process impacts the cluster configuration and ensures optimal resource utilization.